Hey guys, good morning. It is Sunday. So today's vlog is going to be all about preparing for Monterey, packing for a baby, all that fun stuff because something I've learned now from doing any type of trip for anything like a day or even more, it is hard to pack for a baby. Like you have to figure out like how many diapers do I need? How much formula do I need? Like how much food do I need? How many clothes? Like you just don't know. So anyways, I'm gonna go and run to the store, pick up a ton of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys everything and then we'll also go through the process of packing everything as well. And the weather there is a little bit cooler. Um, I also have to get some new PJs for her cause she's just <laughs> crowd groaners. Um, so I'm gonna go to Carter's cause there's a Carter store near me. So I'm gonna go there, get her some PJs and just go to the grocery store pick up some stuff for just a couple days that we're gonna be here and food for our trip so let's go all right so I just got done at um, Carter's and at Ralph's so Ralph's is crazy it was such an expensive bill it was like over $200 like kill me now it sucks but it's because legit like almost a hundred of it was just in formula and it's because it's 39 it's 39 dollars anywhere it's the same price across the board. I just hate how expensive formula is. I'm so happy that I only have two more months of paying for it. I told my sister, I go, just try to nurse as long as you can. Like try to make it work. Let's cross fingers that it works because I go, paying for formula sucks. It is so expensive. I don't know how families do it. Like I, I, I just don't know. It's crazy and so I had to get formula to make sure that we were stocked up for the trip and also at home because we were running low. Um, but again, just two more months, two more months, eight more weeks. We're almost there. I'm also kind of getting away from the purees, um, the little baby pouches. Cause I usually now, like when we eat, like when we go out to eat or when I make dinner, if I can feed her the food, like there was one food that I couldn't feed her cause it had honey in it. Cause they can't have honey cause it causes botulism. But any other time that I try to make dinners that I make dinners that she can eat too. And that's when I give her that food as well with us. So that way it saves me a pouch because the pouches are so convenient. They're just expensive too. Like it just adds up. And I really like feeding her like, you know, really healthy, like organic food that's freshly made. But when you're on the go, it's hard. And so I had to buy a lot of pouches for this trip because we're gonna be in a hotel room. I can't cook. And I really like, even though like a lot of my meals like I think my meals like my lunches and my breakfast because we're usually gonna be spending those together because Joel will be at the track mine are gonna be running over to Starbucks or just eating a bar or something like I probably won't spend I probably will be eating something quick so I want to make sure she actually gets her nutrient like nutrients even though she's getting in her milk but I want to make sure she's actually getting decent ingredients in her pouches so I had to stock up on pouches just in case so those were expensive yeah I'll show you guys everything I'm just going on a rant right now of how expensive it is to have a baby it is so pricey um anyways now it's time to finally head home I'm sure she's up from her nap and playing I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got and let's go all right so i'm back and i'm gonna show you guys what i got so first off carter's i like getting her pjs there because they're just honestly she grows out of anything but she grows out faster is pjs and i feel like they shrink too so i got her these footies in 18 months because she's outgrown the 12 months and i thought this one's really cute with the unicorn anything with a unicorn oh it's like a little pegasus it's got wings so adorable. I should have told them I don't need the hangers. This other one that I got her right here has little kitty cats on it. Also in 18 months. I only do zippers. <laughs> I also got her like a warmer one, which is perfect because it's actually gonna be kind of colder. Oh my gosh, she picked Did you get a remote or a controller? Yeah. You ready to play video games? So I got her this one. This one is actually in a fleece, so this will be nice and warm for her. Honestly, like it's so great going to a car store. And then also I had to get this because of the dogs. Babe, look at this one. I had to get this top when I was leaving. Oh yeah. It's a little Maltese. How cute is that? And it says, just be you. I got her a 2T because the 2T actually looks like it's gonna fit her. And I just had to get it because it had the dogs on it. And then next up, I got her this little set right here. It's actually like flannel pants. And this one is also 18 months and it's long sleeve. And it's a two piece, which is nice. And then I got her another two piece. Because the problem is, is I like the little ones, like the other car ones that have the short sleeve, but she's usually in a sleep sack, so her arms are uncovered, and that's how she can get cold at night. So I found these long sleeve ones. So this is like a long sleeve two piece. So again, 18 months because she's on the bigger side. Hey, little one. She's tall. 
Oh, they gave me coupons. Extra 20% off your $40 purchase. Oh, I wish I would have had these coupons when I bought these. This would have been awesome. So now into the groceries. I got Joel's Tostitos. And then you're gonna see a lot of snacks and a lot of pouches for her, like I said, because I need to make something convenient for her food next week because we don't know what's gonna happen with the food, where we're going. And I need to be able to feed her, especially because I don't have a kitchen in our room. It's just a typical room. We even re we requested a refrigerator because they actually don't even have a refrigerator in there. So we already called them. They're giving us a crib and a refrigerator. But I got the apple sweet potato puff. She loves these. And then for me, what I'm gonna do is when I get there is I'm actually gonna pick up some milk somewhere so I can have at least have like a breakfast. So I got these little cereal bowls. I wish they had better cereal options, but then I got rice for here for dinner. I love that rice. Do not buy the Target brand of that rice. It is horrible. Now we're getting into all the packets of food. So this is her favorite breakfast. This is the banana blueberry oatmeal. So this is what I give her for breakfast. So I legit bought so many of these tons so we got all those and then i got these apple sweet potato and granola more of the blueberry oatmeal because i'm completely out of any type of breakfast things and sometimes if we have too hectic hectic of a morning then we send her to daycare with one of the breakfast ones and then we have the pear spinach and peas which is really good to help get the poops out if they get backed up then we have banana and pumpkin, which is another good one. I like doing those ones for like the afternoon to really help if because like, solids really clogs them up. So I also got some more Spanish style rice. Another thing of these guys, because again, she loves them, so I stock up. I got some black beans because we're gonna make a chicken rice black bean bowl. Then another banana pumpkin. Yeah. Then I saw these and I thought these were really cool. These are the Annie's One Pot Pasta. It's cheesy mac with hidden veggies and you can add hot dogs to it. So I know you love this stuff, this type of stuff, and I feel like this is a lot, this is a lot lighter than if you bought like mac, like the craft one. So, and it's organic. So I got this and I got some, um, hot dogs to put into them for one of our dinners because she could actually have that too. So even if we have leftovers, it would be a good little meal for her. Then I got another nail clipper. I have one, but I want to keep one downstairs because I just need to clip her nails more often because they're just so sharp. All right, so next up I got just some chicken breast. I got Joel's favorite Sausalito turkey breast. Oh, this is how you spell it. Sal it's like salsa and then lito. Salsalito. Then these are the hot dogs I bought. These are the natural turkey franks right here. I love these. I don't like beef hot dogs, so I got those to mix in that one dinner. And then as you guys know, we love like the meal services. So we have Home Chef here. We're actually gonna be working with a different one soon. So I'm really excited to try that one out. I'll be showing it to you guys, I believe over on this channel. But I'm really, really excited to try that one out because I like it that they had a vegetarian option, which I've told my sister about. So I think she's gonna try it too. I told her, let me try it out. Let me see how it is. And then I told her that she should get that one for when the baby comes to make it easy for them to eat because she's a vegetarian. Um, but anyways, I got this one. This is the chicken and roasted red pepper cream with broccoli. We only needed two dinners. I got three, but these ones we could save for when we get back. Tonight, we can either have the chicken and rice bowls or we can have the home chef. And then OJ. Got some teethers, crackers, because I want to stock up for these for the trip because that is like one of the only ways that we can enjoy dinner or eating anything if I give her one of those. I always save them for when we eat. And that way she can entertain herself while we enjoy our dinner or our lunch or whatever. I also got this big pack of pouches right here. Like these are awesome. I just wish that they had more of the oatmeal ones in them. So that's why I had to buy more. Then I got the Cliff Bars, which the chocolate chip, they're so good, but they're really not good for you. They're actually a lot of sugar, but they're like my guilty pleasure. And then I got her formula here of the Enthamel Inspire, which is so expensive. I'm so over, you know what, guess what, babe? Tomorrow means two more months of buying formula. Only two more months and then we're done. Literally, literally half of this grocery bill was just these two packs of formula. It's freaking insane. And then I got these kind breakfast bars. These are blueberry almond that I'm gonna take with me. So that way if I wanna eat this for breakfast instead, that's usually what I do sometimes if I'm in a rush. And then I got these small trash bags. I just bought like the cheap ones. They were like only a dollar because I'm like, hey, guess what? We're gonna be in a room, in the same room where we're gonna be throwing dirty diapers in, was Madison thinking. Yeah. So then that way we can throw a dirty diaper in it, tie it up, and not have to smell it as bad. Very good. So 
so I got these. Because <laughs> I was like, we need to figure out something for these diapers. I also have little diaper like packs. I think I have one more left. So um, we could even use the dog, I didn't even think about it. We could use the dog ones. That way, we have so many of those. You get those at um, Home Goods for super cheap. You can get like a huge pack for like $2. That's, I, we're still going through them from the first time I bought them. I've had them for years. So yeah, anyways, that is everything that I got. We are gonna go, I'm gonna put this away and we're gonna go for a walk. I saw there's an open house down the street and we're like that couple that has to go to like every open house in the neighborhood just to walk through them. It gives us something to do. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go scout that out. And then and later on in this walk, I'm gonna show you guys like how I'm gonna pack everything. And I'm literally gonna have a separate bag for food. Then she's gonna have her bag and then Joel and I will have our bag. So I will be showing you guys all my little tips and tricks with that. But now to put it away. Hey guys, good morning. My hair is like a huge, huge frizz ball right now. But um, I just took a shower and I blow dried it. I didn't even strain it because I just really want to go and get these errands done before I have some film meetings this afternoon. Um, right now, I'm actually going to go mail out the giveaway winners, um, their packages, because I had it for Joel, but he kept forgetting them on the ledge or like by his desk. So I'm going to mail them out today because I'm going to go run some errands real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Nordstrom's because I really like this leaf dress. I have it in white and gray, and I really wanna get another one of it because it's so comfortable, it's inexpensive, and I really love it because it makes it still easy for me to have like hold Riley and deal with her in because it's on the longer side, and it's fitted, and it's really flattering. So I wanna go get in some other colors because they have some at the North County Mall over here. So. My plan is to actually go to Starbucks, get breakfast because breakfast, I haven't eaten anything yet. Go to the UPS store, drop off those packages, and then run over there. And also maybe see if they have any e-bags or um, cow packs, like basically those packing cubes. I have a ton of them. Well, I don't have that many of them. I have two sets. But now that we have little Riley, I need a little bit more and it makes my packing so much easier and I love it. So I need to go get a couple more of those because also I think some of mine are falling apart. I've had them for years. I've had them probably for like four years now. <laughs> so it's time for some new ones. Um, and I will show you guys how I pack everything when I get back. So let's go. So I just got back. Riley is down for a nap right now. Anyways, um, I got my new bag in the mail. I'm so excited. This is the Fawn Design. This is the mini one. I've been talking to you guys a lot about like how I've been saying I want to get the mini and the blush. And this is it. Super, super cute. I'm obsessed. I actually ordered this one myself. They were really sweet. They actually sent me the Weekender, but it doesn't get in until tomorrow. But thank goodness I have someone staying here, so they're going to bring it in for me. Um, but I ordered this one myself because I really wanted this one for Monterey, so I actually even rush ordered it. And I was so happy that it made it here in like a day. So I rush ordered it and I got it, but it's super cute. It's nice and small. So I thought this would be really good for like our short little outings in Monterey. I'm planning on taking her to the aquarium and I don't know if I'm gonna put her in the stroller yet. Part of me is thinking of just putting her in my carrier, my Nuna one, because it has such great support. And then I'm gonna put her stuff that I need in this bag. So that way I don't have to have a big backpack on my back. And I'm not like dying, <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be so hard. Um, because I just don't know how I'm gonna maneuver a stroller in the aquarium. That's what I'm thinking about right now. So um, anyways, so I got that. Um, I also have a coupon code, it's Madison15 if you've been eyeing any of the Fawn Design ones. A great thing is they're now carrying them in Nordstrom's. So you can actually go check them out at Nordstrom's. I only see the black one in there because I've been to two different Nordstrom's now and that's where I've seen it. And you can kind of get an idea of what the like material is and how good quality it is and if you like it and if you want to go on their website and save money off of it. My code actually expires here at the end of the month. I think it's like August 21st, so make sure to use it if you're planning on like getting your hands on a font design. Just use it while you can because I know my sister used it and she saved $30. How much did I save on this one? I think it was about $30 too. It's it's such it's such a good deal. So definitely use it. I went to Nordstrom's, like I said, and I got some stuff for our trip. So the first thing that I got is I wanted to get some more packing cubes. I have the e-bags ones, but now that we have Riley, I'm like, I need more. So I got these Cal Pack ones because I was going to order some on Amazon, but I knew they wouldn't get here in time because I was going to order them today. And I was like, this is not going to work. So I just picked these up there and it comes with 
all of these right here. So all the different sizes, even a little pouch and everything, super easy. And then it shows like how you can organize it. I have been using these for years and I'm obsessed with them. So I honestly want to say you can actually get them cheaper on Amazon. So I'd actually recommend for you guys to do that than rather get like them at Nordstrom's and whatnot. But these ones are really cute marble prints. So I got those. I had to get Joel some new black pants because <laughs> his last trip that he did he was wearing his black pants and they ripped in the crotch when he was at the track and he sent me a picture and he's like this is not good at all and he was stuck in the track with like a big hole in his pants so i had to get him some new ones i picked those up today because he tried to go for two dicks to get some and then they didn't the kind that they have wasn't really his favorite so i told him i was like i'm at nordstrom's anyways let me see if they have like the style there and luckily they did so that's awesome anyways next up i got this really cute bodysuit and this is from socialite and it's really adorable so that's it it's just kind of like the thong kind and it's just a t-shirt i got a small because it looks actually kind of big but it's nice material and it's not like see-through it's actually pretty thick and it was really reasonable it's only 29 dollars and then I'm obsessed with the leaf dresses. They were on sale for $45 a piece during the anniversary sale. They are now marked up to $54, but I bought two of them, which I have the light gray one over here that I just got done washing. And they have them in so many different colors. I really want the blue one too, but they didn't have it there in stock. So I just got these two colors. So now I have it in white, light gray, dark gray, and green. <laughs> so here's the green one that I got because I love green with my skin tone, it always works out really well. So I got this one right here. And then I got the dark gray, which I was so happy. They didn't have the dark gray when I was there in, um, at the other mall when I got the first set. So I saw dark gray at this mall and I was super, super stoked about this. This one would be really cute with like white tennies. I think it'd be really adorable, but they're nice. They're like body fitting, but they're really flattering because they're also thicker. So they actually hold things in. You don't have to worry about wearing Spanx or anything with it because it already kind of compresses. And also the ruching, it's just really flattering if you have curves and it's on the longer side and it's really easy to wear if you have a kid, like if you're dealing with a kid, which is why I like them. I'm like, I love dresses and I can easily bend down and get around them because they're on the longer side. So I definitely recommend the dresses. They're awesome. Literally, they're the type of dress that you need in every single color. So that is everything that I got there. I have packages back there that I need to do for a PR unboxing. So with that little section over in my hallway of what I've been fixing up, two of the frames came damaged from Wayfair. So I called them up and they're like, okay, we'll just order you two more. I was like, perfect, I go, I just need two. They come in a set of nine. Well, they sent an entire new set of nine and they're like, just throw away the ones that are broken. So I only needed two and now I have nine frames. So that's going to be fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other ones, but yeah, now it's time to kind of pack up what I'm going to get in order. I will show you guys my packing cubes when I'm done. Hey guys. Okay. So I'm back and I've got my packing cubes together. So here is one. This one I have like shirts and like sweaters in. My other one is, oop. That's moving because of little Riley. She's up from her nap now having a bottle. So this next one is pants and shorts and dresses. And then all of my like underwear and everything and bras are all in this one. And then here are more shirts and actually some leggings and PJs in there. So now my stuff is basically done. I do want to get one more pair of pants. I actually boxed up a ton of my stuff, like my pants, um, when I got pregnant because it was just taking up room in my closet and I was just like, oh I'm not gonna be able to wear these for a while So I need to take those out because I want to find one more pair of pants to bring and I want a lighter lighter color jean Because it's actually gonna be kind of cool Riley is grabbing <laughs> the tripod So I want to do that and then I need to also get her stuff packed up as well
Hey guys, so I'm back. All right, so I got quite a bit of the bags packed. I've got her stuff, a lot of it packed. I'm still getting like the headphones and everything for the track. It's like so blue, but it's because the TV's on in front of me um, to help protect her little ears. Hopefully she'll leave them on. I hope you leave these on. You will at the track. Yeah. Anyways, and then this is like the most awesome thing ever. This right here, it's a bottle brush and a rack. And I have like little travel bottle soap. So that is actually, I think, downstairs underneath the sink. So I'm gonna fill that up with my refill of my Baby Ganic soap. And I'm gonna have that for her to wash the bottles in so I don't have to pack a ton of bottles. I'll probably only pack like maybe five, four or five, probably just four actually, because she only has four a day. So that's all I really need. Um, so I'll probably do that. And then I'm just getting everything I actually have her inside of her playpen right now oh it's joel all i have to do now is like get her toys together get her food together the snacks everything into a bag gotta get her to get a bath and then get her down for bed which is soon thank god it's like after it's like 7 10 right now so she's gonna go down here in the next 40 minutes or so so i'm gonna do that but i gotta go help joel with the mattress pad downstairs hey guys so i have not vlogged all day and there's joel we are on the road. We were actually in, where are we? We're almost to Bakersfield. We're about three hours away. Yay, only three hours away, babies. So are you excited to go to Monterey for the first time? She took out her bow. Are you excited to go to Monterey? Yeah. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna go to the aquarium. <gasps> we're gonna go see Daddy race. <gasps> we're gonna take pictures with Daddy in the race car. <gasps> yeah. It's been pretty good. We woke up at 7 or 5.30, got down the road at 7, and then we got to the Ipsy Studios to go see everyone. We used it as like a half, like a little stopping point, which was great because it allowed me to meet about some fun projects that are coming up and have meetings for that. And then Joel took Riley to the green room and they played and got some energy out, which is really, really good. So, um, it was a great little stopping point and she like passed out in the car the second we got into the car from our from stopping there. But now she's up and does not want to be in the car seat. She is very, very upset. So I took your guys' advice. We have lots of snacks. There you go. They're saving us right now. We have lots of toys. We're gonna be singing songs. Oh yeah, we even have movies because this car has a TV. Usually whenever we do this drive, we always rent a car because we don't want to put the miles or a lease. on our car. Oh, well you have a lease, but also on my car's not a lease. Don't want to put the miles on our car. And since he's a, this is a work trip, we can basically invoice for the car. So, saves the car. We rented a, it's like a Tahoe. It's a three, it's a three seater. It's actually huge, actually really, really nice. I like it. I, it's definitely like, I mean, I don't ever want to get rid of my SUV but definitely need to get something more like this after that one's done. But that one I want to drive to like 100,000 miles. I don't want to, I want to hold on to that one for a long time, but it definitely needs to upgrade to something bigger for the future. Whenever we have baby number two, I don't know when. It's like part of me is like, oh, October's coming up, yay. And another part of me is like, no, I think I want to hold off a little bit longer because it is exhausting and I could not imagine being pregnant right now. Do you see your foot coming in? With you, you're so tiring. <laughs> and I don't know how, I think daddy will lose it. <laughs> Short pier. <laughs> and right now we're pretty good, aren't we? You keep us entertained. Okay, another Cheeto. It's not a Cheeto, it's actually these little Gerber. I actually show them in my um, diaper bag video. They're like these Gerber apple sweet potatoes. I call them Cheetos because they look like a Cheeto, but they're baby friendly. They melt in their mouth and she loves them. Our plan is to get there, check in, then go find a place for dinner, walk around. Do you have an early morning tomorrow? Early. Okay, tomorrow's your early morning. Riley and I, we're gonna go to the aquarium. We're gonna do the aquarium. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put you in the stroller or in the carrier yet. I'm kind of dreading the carrier. Yeah, dreading it. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that later. You want another one? You have to finish what's in your mouth though. So this little one is getting a break from the car seat. No! <laughs> you can't eat it. 
it. You can't eat it. You can rip it up no. all you want. Are you enjoying the grass for the first time? You're trying to pull it up, aren't you? Yeah. Right here. Grab this. We're about 30 minutes away from the hotel, but she was dying in that car seat. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. No don't, eating. It. Don't put no. it in there. She's sitting Indian style. She. <laughs> totally sitting Indian style, aren't you? How about some for me? Can I have some? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Yay, good job. Yeah. <laughs> Riley, butterfly, butterfly, fly away. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go. Let's get, let's get to the hotel. Yeah. Come here, bubbies. <gasps> Sure, our hands are clean. <laughs> <laughs> that feel better? Wing in your hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back in the darn car seat. Oh. Back in the darn car seat. She's like, no. Okay, so we are in our room and Riley is in her little crib. How is this gonna do? I also brought a crib sheet from home so that way I can put this on here. I have yet to do it. I literally set her down in here and like immediately started cleaning bottles and getting everything unpacked. But are you ready, babies? Yeah? Um, our view is basically of, can what's it called? Canary? Can Canary? Canary Row. Canary Row. So it's gonna be kind of loud. And then we also got stuck with like two small beds. I don't know how we always get stuck with Our small beds. every time. Every single time. We can never get a king. Right. Unless they Lucy and Ricky across our forehead. I know. Are you taking your um, crib sheet through there? I'm ready for bed, Mom. I'm ready for bed. We gotta go play. We gotta go out and get dinner real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up. And I actually just moved everything into this bag because we're just gonna go for a quick dinner. And yeah, so I didn't want to take the big one. And let's go, I'm starving. Yes, I'm starving. Cutie pie. Hey, little one, you cannot lick the bars. Nope. And you cannot pull at me in the middle of the night, okay? It's time to go to bed. Go to bed. No. You are so tired, it's time to go to bed. Your bedtime was long time ago. All right guys, we're gonna say goodnight and we will see you in the morning. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here really quickly and end out this vlog and I kinda wanna end it out with like the tips and tricks that I learned with driving with Riley in the car for like seven hours. I know. <laughs> So I got some great advice from you guys and I wanted to share that on here for anyone that is getting ready to travel in a car with a baby, especially a 10 month old baby that is mobile. Um, she wants to crawl everywhere, lift up, like she's going to lift herself up here any minute. I just know it. Um, so I want to share with you guys my tips and tricks. So really quickly, the first thing is to take breaks and that is one thing that I got from you guys. Um, take breaks like every two to three hours. It's really good to get them out of the car seat, especially when they're mobile, they can't sit for that long. So take breaks and what we did at one of our stops is so I actually took out the big blanket that I brought and I laid it out on the grass and she just laid there and played and stuff. It was the cutest thing, but it allowed her to really kind of stretch out and do her thing. And that was the first time you got to experience grass because I've yet to take you to like the grass. Well, she's been to the grass like because we went to the volleyball, but this is the first time I actually let her play in it. So, oh, let's not go for the buttons. We can't go for the buttons. She always wants to take this and take the buttons on it. Another thing is have lots of snacks. Have tons and tons of snacks. This is our little snack guy right here. And if you guys saw him in my um, little, do you want this? There you go. Um, you guys saw this in my diaper bag and I have different snacks in each one. It's actually a formula dispenser, but I use it for snacks so that way the snacks don't get smashed in the diaper bag but it works out really, really well. 
Um, so bring lots of snacks, especially those little teether crackers as well. Those are awesome. So lots of snacks and also new toys. And the reason why I say new toys is because they get bored easily. And when they get a new toy, they're so infatuated with it and it like keeps their attention for a lot longer. So definitely bring new toys. We're actually going to get a couple new ones here, um, for her to have when she goes in the car for back home. And then also schedule out their naps, um, kind of like with your drive times. Um, a couple other tips were like drive at night so that way they sleep the whole time, which is really good. But if you are like incapable of driving at night because you get so tired, that would be the hard thing. Um, with Joel, he, he has a hard time staying up past seven. So with us, it would have been like he would have to sleep and then wake up at like four in the morning and then drive type of thing. But we had meetings and stuff on the way up here so we couldn't really do that. Oh songs and books and stuff are huge let me show you one book this book right here saved me on this trip like she was so done towards the end like so done and i pulled out this book and it saved me it does like little musics baby shark, da -da -da, baby shark. she gets so excited over it um but it's got like i think what 10 different versions of the baby shark songs like they kind of took other nursery rhymes and put baby shark into it it's really cute even it has like all the lyrics and everything in it so i'll have all this stuff linked down below but this book saved me um joel is the type that doesn't like to stop when doing a driving trip and so with him he's definitely like kind of like having to get used like okay we need to stop like when she was just done in the car seat towards the end i was like i don't care what you say we need to stop this car now i go she needs to get out especially because we still had another hour to get to the hotel so i was like let's get her out get this done and get her energy out so that's what we did i mean a lot of you guys said ipads and if you see the chair the tripod is on the chair and she's underneath it right now um but a lot of you guys also said like ipads and movies and stuff but those don't really hold her attention I, and i don't know if it's just because she's 10 months old but if i try to do that like i brought out this nursery rhyme song video on youtube that was like an hour long that kind of got her attention when she was starting to get kind of fussy but she loses like she, it doesn't entertain her very long um so i can't get her to really watch movies or anything like that she doesn't care about it and i think it's because of her age she'd rather go and play and move around and explore rather than sit and watch a screen which i'm very happy about to be honest but in a car i can't distract her with that because it doesn't really take for very long oh you're underneath the chair look it you're underneath the chair oh hang on i'll help you Ooh, we're out from beneath the So yeah, so that really helped. <laughs> See, this one just wants to go. She does not want to stay still. You want whipping up? I think you're tired, you need a nap. Those are just kind of some tips and tricks that what that really helped us with driving. I think the most important one is honestly the brakes. You need the brakes. Um, they need to get out of the car. It just, it's hard. It, a lot easier to do a driving trip with a baby that is in the stages before being mobile i want to say um when they're mobile they just want to go they don't want to sit in one place at, like for once it will actually kind of also depends on the personality because i see some really chill babies that are mobile that just don't move really they're just kind of like very content with where they're at this one will loves to explore she has so much energy she wants to go i hope these tips and tricks help you guys i know they're just like really quick like little tips that are probably a lot of common sense but um they really helped to me so it's like if you didn't think of it here they are